Good morning, church. It's Tuesday morning. I'm just checking in with you, see how you guys are doing, how your families are doing. I hope to bring encouraging words for the next four minutes or so. I hope not to go too long. I promise I won't go very long. Um, and I just want to give you some encouraging words and some of the things that I've been um, kind of thinking about over the last couple of days. And um, it's crazy times we live in. Um, it seems that there's a lot of talk about anxiousness and fear and all of those things that maybe we are dealing with, um, our children are dealing with, um, maybe someone in your household is dealing with. And um, I wanted to speak to that this morning. I think that God has given me some encouragement for you. Um, and I'm going to be vulnerable for the next um, few minutes. So give me some grace and patience as I work through this with you guys. Um, depression, anxiety is something that I have dealt with in my life and especially in my younger um, years. Uh, it, was, it was pretty bad. And I remember in the year 2002 um, on New Year's Eve praying that God would heal me from anxiousness, from depression, and he did. And it's something that every once in a while rears its ugly head again, um, but I have found working through it and um, and I really believe that God had healed me, has healed me from anxiety and depression. Now, in times like now where anxiety and, and fear and stuff seems to be getting a little heightened in our world, um, it can creep back in. And surely the enemy can use that to um, cause discouragement, to um, cause us to go into some depression or anxious thoughts or worry and all of those things. And, and, I, and so this, going through this, I've, um, there's practical steps, of course trying to get outside. I limit the amount of news I can watch greatly um, to almost hardly any. Um, and just talking with my family and my husband especially, um, just working through some of those thoughts and um, of course going to God um, daily for um, just my mind and keeping uh, my mind clear and focused on God. And I was reading this morning from Second Kings and our First Kings, and it was talking about Elijah on Mount Carmel and the Battle of the Baals. And um, Elijah had summoned um, the, the people to call on Baal and call on their gods to bring fire. And I was reminded that they spent all day, whole day dancing and shouting and they cut themselves and they were crying out to their gods to bring fire. And after a whole day, nothing happened. And then as, I, as Elijah stepped up to the, to the fire that he had built to God, um, he prayed that God answer me um, so people know that you are God and they'll turn their hearts back to you. And on that prayer, God brought fire down in an instant. And what a miraculous, powerful story of just um, God's power and might. But something that struck out to me in the story this morning was that the people were kind of going crazy to get their God to do something, summon up their gods by doing dancing and all the theatrics that they were doing. And I think sometimes um, in our world, we do that. You know, we look for so many answers outside of God. We are turning towards the TV. We're turning towards um, other people, medicine, which is good. We, you know, medicine, I'm all for that. If you, if you need that, yes. Um, but maybe we need to be turning our hearts towards God. And, and I love how Elijah prayed that um, God would answer him and hear them and that the people would see God and turn their hearts towards him. And I'm thinking that now is a time more than ever that the people around us need to see us turning towards God, need to see us praying fervently towards God. And if you're struggling with anxiety, depression, like I am during um, some of this, you know, my prayer for you this morning, um, as I am myself, is praying that I'm turning to God, that I'm not worried about what everyone else is saying, that I'm not searching for answers outside of God, um, and that, that my only prayer, my only cry out is to God. And that I know that we don't have to run through hoops to find God. We don't have to do crazy dances like they were to Baal. We don't have to um, cut ourselves. We don't have to go through any of the craziness that they were doing to for God to meet us where we are. All we have to do is cry out to him. And my prayer is that as I cry out, as we cry out as a church to God, that um, not just our minds will become clear, not that our worry and anxiety goes away. Yes, I want that, but also that our world will see us crying to God. And I love after the story that after this drought that they had experiencing, that rain came during or after all of this and 
And I believe that as we cry out to God, he will bring rain. He will bring restoration, renewal to our hearts, our minds, our world as we cry out to him. But it takes us crying out and reaching out to him. And um, there's so many verses in the Bible about worry and anxiousness. And I know you guys know them. And I love in Psalms, it, um, it says that I sought the Lord and he answered me. Maybe we need to be seeking the Lord. I know we need to be seeking the Lord because he will answer us. I love Proverbs. It says, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not unto your own understanding. I do that. I try to figure out things in my, in my brain and in my heart before going to God. And I've learned through all of this in the last couple of weeks that I need to be speak, seeking God first um, more than anything else. And, and Philippians says, don't be anxious about anything, but in all things, give our request to God through prayer and thanksgiving. And so I'm praying for you today that maybe if you're anxious, that we can give it to God. And just as Elijah um, sought God on the Mount Carmel and he prayed for God to hear him, that God answered him and everyone around him saw how great our God was. And so I pray as we seek God and, see his, and seek his greatness that he will answer us and that the people around us will see the goodness, the greatness and powerful of our God. I'm gonna pray for you this morning really quick and then you can go about your day. Dear Heavenly Father, I just pray for my church family this morning and all those um, that we come in contact with that may be suffering with anxiety and fear and uh, maybe depression, God, that you will, that as we seek you, God, that you will hear us, that you will come and you will answer us, God, that you will take our burdens, take our worry, take our anxiousness and turn them into your glory so that those around us can see you. God, I pray for our families, whatever they're, whether, whatever they're going for this morning, God, that you will be with them. I pray for our hospitals, our nurses, um, people that are dealing with this um, coronavirus and those in government, God. Uh, may you be with them. May you give them wisdom. May you keep them safe today, God. I pray for my church family, Lord, that you are there in their homes, bringing peace, bringing love, bringing light into their homes and their families. In Jesus' name, amen. We miss you guys. Can't wait to see you. Bye.